Hey YouTube, today I got a different deck profile I'm going to be doing. This is actually, this is not my deck. I don't actually have a Seeker deck. So, um, this is the first Legion deck that I had access to. But this is actually my brother, my brother's deck. So this is the Seeker deck that he's been using. So he's had access to Legion a little bit earlier than me. Um, since Fighter's Collection. So, well, not really, but, uh, since you couldn't, you couldn't really run the deck until the trial deck came out. So... Um, but the deck is completed. It's been completed for a while now. Um, so this is what it is. Basically, really the only thing lacking is a good starter. So they're just he's running the trial deck starter since Royal Paladin doesn't have a good one right now. Really, the since the Seekers don't have their good starter yet, um, the one that I would recommend running is actually the one that came out in the Daigo trial deck or the the Mega trial deck. Um, that one is actually pretty decent. The one that came with Ancient Sanctuary Dragon. Or Sanctuary Dragon, whatever this thing is called. Um, I would recommend running that one. So to start off, four Splitting Seeker Brutus. He is pretty good. This this type of Legion deck is pretty much a beatdown Legion deck. It's running Rainbow Triggers from the Trial deck. But it does work. You just have to attack with a Rear Guard first. Uh, since you're running stands. And then if you run out of stands, like if they're all in the drop zone or they're in your hand, plus the drop zone and the damage zone... Then you just attack normally. Uh, next, four Seeker Sacred Wingle. He complements Brutus very well because Brutus is counterblast. He, he special counterblasts. So that's the other reason why I'm running the rainbow or my brother's running rainbow triggers. But I would actually recommend running the rainbow triggers also if this was my deck. Uh, mainly because he is a special counterblast for both of his effects. And since they do not have the Seeker Perfect Guard yet. Uh, you want to maximize your Seekers, so that's why we are running the Rainbow Triggers in here. So Wingle complements him nicely because Wingle does not have any Counter Blast. So that's very nice. And he's actually surprisingly good, consistent uh, Legion. For Grade 2, 4 Blaster Blade Seekers. Uh, I would probably run only 3 of these, but you can run 4. Whatever works, depends on your playstyle. Four combined strength seeker Lucranus. This is like four of this is a must. This is a very good card at uh, gaining different power stages. And he's a legion mate for Brutus. And three Certic. I personally would probably want four Certic and three Blaster Blade. But you know, if you damage check like two Blaster Blades early game, that's kind of bad. So it's nice to have just to make sure you consistently are able to do your legion. A call or a legion mate when you need to so that's why so that's the grade two lineup very basic for grade ones four perfect guards is that's all they have access to you can run whichever one you want this is the original one from bt1 old school flash shield assault um but you can run the jewel knight one if you want or the uh yeah it's jewel knight assault and there's the gloria quintet wall if you want to run those, I mean that that works too. Um, next, four Righteous Seeker uh, Gangaren. He is a 9K attacker when he attacks a Vanguard. So this is just early game rush. This deck is basically a beatdown deck. It's a rushdown deck. So we're also running four of the 10K Seeker Grade One. So this and this early game is very scary uh, because most opponents don't run 10K Vanilla. Uh, with the exception of Chaos Breaker Dragon, I think that's like the only one that I can think of that is well known for running its 10k vanillas. That and the Blau deck. Um, but other than that, other than those two decks, there's like no other deck that runs the 10k vanilla that can prevent these type of rushes. Well, actually, it doesn't even prevent this guy from attacking it, but it prevents that guy. So most of the time, uh, with eight cards that can hit Vanguard early game, that's just pretty scary. And just the nature of the Seekers overall, they're very aggressive and rush rush down type of play style kind of like battle sisters next two seeker rune eagle this is your 10k booster for the legion so just pretty standard grade one lineup um quick note flash shield assault is the only non-seeker in here so that's another reason why we run the rainbow triggers so speaking of the rainbow triggers they all came out in the trial deck so they're readily available um, so yeah, just 
four heal, four stand, four critical, four draw. And the starter, uh, this is the trial deck starter, but you can run whatever starter you want. Royal Paladin, I'm surprised. We were looking at the starters available, at least for English, and they're not a whole lot of good ones yet. So I think the best one is the one from the Daigo trial deck, or the Mega trial deck. So that's the one I recommend running. So that'll all change in a couple of weeks once uh, Sing Saver comes out. So let me know what you guys think of this deck so far. Other than the starter, we obviously know this is a bad starter. Um, but hey, if you're stuck at zero, you can still uh, you can still block for 16k. So you know. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about Brutus and Wingle as a deck, as a seeker deck. It's the first seeker one. I mean, there's also the the promo one. Uh, this one. Uh, which we may attempt to build and see how this one works uh, in place of, I don't know, Brutus or Wingle or something. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite Legion so far? Is it Brutus? Is it Wingle? Or is it like Revengers? Or the Witches? Or Yagdrasil? Or Machinings? Because those are real good ones too. So anyway guys, let me know in the comments and hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.